for the Weiss family. I'm Kim. This is Ethan and our dogs Blue and Milo. We are just another schoolie. This is our <laughs> bus. It's a 1997 Thomas International 3800, 37 feet long. In front of the bus we had a custom hitch put in. We got this rack just off of Amazon and then kind of added some extra supports just for stability because this thing weighs like 350 pounds. But all we did was just get some all thread and tap it through the bumper there and it's been pretty sturdy. No real problems going down the road. We do have an option on the back too, just in case we need it front versus back, in case we're towing. For the color of the bus, we wanted to paint match our Jeep that we tow behind. Actually, I usually just drive it separately, but we do have a tow kit for when I don't want to drive it. <laughs> but we actually got automotive quality paint to match the color of the Jeep, which is called Anvil. And fun fact, we had our extra paint put in a spray can and we used it to paint our one wheel too. So everything is matching, although we've wrecked a few times. So you can see it's a little beat up. We did end up just putting a standard exterior house door on the bus. We got really lucky with finding the door because it ended up fitting perfectly in the slot. We just removed the stock bus door and we're able to fit it with just a little bit of framing on top. Everything else fits straight in. So this was actually a super easy install. Although with just two people and no ladder, I shouldn't say it was so easy, but it was pretty effortless. And as you can tell, opening and closing it is pretty effortless as well. And it comes in handy to just maximize our outdoor space. This is our outdoor table, which we recently just added. We picked up a slab in Flagstaff. It is Indian rosewood, which is used mostly for making like guitars and skateboards, I think. We got really lucky finding this slab. A lot of the colors really popped with the polyurethane, but we really didn't do a whole lot to it. Just a, a sand and quick poly finish. So on the exterior, we've got this ladder that goes up to the roof deck. The ladder itself, we actually found it's a dock ladder. So originally it was like 12 foot tall, so we had to cut it down a little bit, but it's just tapped into the bumper and then tapped into the metal frame of the deck. And then we added these upgraded all the taillights to LEDs. We just had to expand the holes a little bit for these and they really just pop in. And then the reverse lights are just flush mount LED pods that are super bright and kind of blind anything and everything behind it. This giant pole on the side of the bus is our WeBoost. It is a cell booster. It helps boost our signal when we're in the middle of a forest or really anywhere. It does work wonders. We did start with a smaller model and it just lived on the roof. Unfortunately, we lost that one to a tree branch. So now we have this bad boy, which is a little less convenient to set up. We do have to take it down and put it inside when we drive, but it gets the job done. Just for some additional storage, we added this 10 foot long toolbox. Got it off of Facebook Marketplace. Some old electrical truck was selling it. It's a good bit of storage. It's not super deep, but it holds a lot of our big bulky items. And it's just, it's nice to have the exterior storage there. We have our battery compartment, pretty basic. And then we have the condenser unit for our mini split out here, which just runs up right inside. And then clearly we did a roof raise here. We did a 20 inch raise, all brand new sheet metal up here. And then we installed custom RV windows. All that was done obviously before painting and adding the deck up top, which is eight by 12. We actually, the frame is built out of two shipping skids from jet skis and then the decking itself is the composite decking so it's nice and weatherproof. So that's it for the exterior of the bus. Let's go check out the inside. All right, welcome to our crib. Starting in the entryway, we have our steps with tile on the side, just so it's easy to wipe down. With two dogs, it does get pretty dirty pretty fast. Speaking of dogs, we didn't want to put a beware of dog sign on the door, so instead we have this welcome, hope you like big dogs sticker, just so everyone knows that we do have two giant dogs on board. Right above that, we have our keys, which is pretty handy because they all just have magnets, so they live right here and they only fall down when we hit giant bumps. In front here, we took out the original metal box, or framed this all in with wood. Kim made these cute little mountains here that only took like a week, probably longer than our headboard. Uh, and then we have this chalkboard here, which Kim's handwriting comes in handy for. And then hiding behind that, we have our mini split. It's a 12,000 BTU Pioneer uh, 110 mini split. 
does heat and AC, so that's handy for when we need it, but we really haven't needed it much so far. We kept the stock 12 volt fans just in case. Again, haven't really had to use them. And then down here, we actually have a diesel heater hidden back here, which vents out here as well as here to kind of help with defrosting. Over here, we have, we upgraded the steering wheel just a little bit more comfortable and kind of looks a little better. And then we did add an air seat, got a Recaro brand air seat, just got it second hand. It's been awesome to drive with. That's the front. First and foremost, we have our beer fridge at the front of the bus, in addition to the normal fridge in the kitchen, just because we have I don't want to say an addiction, but we love good beer. So we knew it would take up a lot of space in the fridge and it gets its own spot up here. On the other side, we just have a cabinet for storage. This is a lot of dog treats in here. And as you can see, we have the dog food holder that moves so we can feed them wherever we want. Speaking of dog food, we get a lot of questions on where we store it. And this cubby holds about a hundred pounds worth of dog food, which is necessary when you have two giant breed dogs. Moving forward, you can see our transition on the inside. This was the original height of the bus, and then we raised it up 20 inches, which obviously makes a big difference. And then we have the living room, two couches right across from each other, and we have the slat system, so it pulls out, and they meet and make a spare bed. I believe it's a queen-size bed. A bunch of storage under this one, and under this couch, we do have the solar setup, which I'll let Ethan talk about in a second. But if you look on the ceiling, we have a projector up here, which is our TV, basically. We have a projector screen that we hang in the kitchen, and it acts as our TV so we don't have to have a stationary one. Under this couch, we have all of our solar stuff. So we have all Victron components, and then we have 600 amp hours of lithium. We have a 300 watt or 3000 watt inverter. And then obviously we have our breaker boxes and everything under there. And then just on top here, we have our monitor so we can monitor all of the aspects of the solar system, what's coming in, what's going out and all of that. So on the roof, we have six 320 watt panels, which ends up being 1920 watts of solar. They're 24 volt panels, but we have them all stepped down to 12 volt inside. Welcome to the kitchen. This is where all the magic happens. My favorite part are the countertops. We did watch about maybe a month worth of YouTube videos before we felt comfortable tackling this project. It was all thanks to Ethan's dad's workshop. We wouldn't have been able to do them without that. He was a carpenter. And while I'm talking about him, he made all of our window trim for us. People ask us how we did this all the time. And the short answer is we didn't. Ethan's dad did. He's a magician, so I can't really explain it to you, but it turned out great. Other than that, we have our upper cabinets, which Ethan's dad also built. The lower cabinets, we found a few on Facebook Marketplace and built the rest to match. The tile also came from Facebook Marketplace. Lots of Facebook Marketplace finds in this bus. Over here we have our tea shelves. These were made with just extra little cutouts of our countertop and they hold all of our loose leaf tea. That's actually a lie. It's not all of our loose leaf tea. There are some in the cabinets as well. Over here we have our fridge and these two are also for the kitchen. They hold our pantry items. Up here we have our instant pot and some of the bigger items that don't fit in the cabinets. We have our salt and pepper and butter dish that my lovely sister made us. When you live tiny, there's not a lot of wall space, so we wanted to bring some decor in other areas of the build. We made this utensil holder with extra countertop material as well. And then we have our three burner Furion stove, which has worked well for us. We do love it. I don't know how we haven't managed to break this glass piece a lot of people do but ours is going strong i probably just jinxed it but if you look up i added this produce hammock because we had it living on the counter for a while and there just wasn't a ton of space when you crowd it with produce so it was a good way to get it up out of the way i was so distracted by all of our facebook marketplace finds that i forgot to tell you about the sink mainly over here it's just that we have a separate water tap for filtered water. So this is what we use for our drinking water and then this one washing dishes and all that. 
almost skipped over this little beauty right here too. This was also made from an extra scrap of our countertop. It's just a magnetic knife rack that Ethan used the router to um, make a little channel on the back and then glued magnets in. So we actually drive with all of these knives up and they don't go anywhere. This is one of the three hatches in the bus. This one is more of a custom one with one of those bubble plexi tops. The other two are marine hatches. And then while we're here, I'll mention the ceiling. It's all spray foamed behind that, but then we added a thin piece of Luan plywood that we painted black and then just added one by fours with a gap between to kind of expose that black between. And then the lights are all just 12 volt up here. We have some 110 lights as well but we rarely use them and then the closet here this is all hanging storage and then we've got drawers galore we honestly have more storage than we need for clothes but is what it is before i show you our bedroom i do want to point out that these are going to eventually hold a desk i just restarted a full-time remote job and if you haven't noticed we don't have an office space so we're planning on putting a desk back here but the slab is still a work in progress. And then we just have our map up here, which we had a debate on what to scratch off. We don't scratch off states that we just drive through. We scratch off states that we have lived in. Ethan is a physical therapist and his contracts are three months long. So the states that we live in for those three months, we scratch off. So we are in the dog room currently, which is right underneath our bed. The dogs have a queen bed down here. We have a California king up there. And then we have all of our additional storage for random bulkier items. Hi Milo. And then our 100 gallon freshwater tank is mounted below here. And then in that door is just all of our plumbing. So we've got our pump, our accumulator, and all of the connections are all right there as well. <laughs> all right, we have to keep it PG. All right, this is our bedroom. This is where the magic actually happens. As Ethan said, this is a California King, which is necessary when we want the dogs to snuggle with us. Our headboard in the back is pretty much the main focus of the bus because we chose the galley layout. That's another one of those projects that took me probably over a week, but it was well worth it. Um, and then we just have cute little details like all of these mini pictures to make it a little more homey. We do have storage on either side of the bed and on either side of the headboard. There is no shortage of storage in this bus. And then the third hatch that I mentioned is right here. This is one of the marine hatches and it just leads right up to our roof deck. Just easier access. Okay, so we do have a second mount for the projector. So if we wanna watch a movie in bed, we can hang the screen at the foot of the bed and watch movies up here. The desk that she was talking about in the hallway is something that I've been working on a little bit. Again, another extra piece of our countertop yeah. wood. And then I did what's called fractal burning on it. And then we just have a, I still have to do the finishing touches on it, but that'll be what's mounted in the hallway for her standing desk. And while we're here, this giant pile of crinkly black fabric are our window covers. So inside of these are just ref that reflectix, is that what it's called? And it insulates all of our windows. The only thing we wish we would have done, instead of making them so we can take them in and out, I think we should have made them so they roll up because now we have to deal with a giant pile of window covers when they're not in the windows, but they do work great when they are in. Okay, so to get up and down from the bed, we have this handy handle and this step that we actually stole from the exterior of the bus folds out of the way, super convenient. And before you go, we do have a bathroom. Oh, <gasps> we have a DIY compost toilet. We skipped out on the fancy nature's head. And honestly, it has worked great for us so far. There's no smell if you're wondering, it's easy to use, no big deal. And then on the other side of the bathroom, we have our shower. 
we do have this water saving Nebbia shower head, which we absolutely love. And then if you haven't noticed already, the dogs make a mess when they drink. So we keep their water bowl in the shower just to avoid having a puddle on the floor. So our floor of the shower is actually, we have these decking boards on top, but underneath of those, we just put plywood down to start. And then we used this orange fabric, I believe was called Kirby Schluter to waterproof it. And then we made our own shower pan just with mortar. Um, and then, like I said, the decking boards on top. To protect this half of the bathroom, we do have this shower curtain. Once we, you know, close the door, it goes around the wet half of the bathroom and protects this side over here. And then we do have some hidden storage in the step. This was a, the wheel well, so which is why there's a step up here. So we have storage in here. We have our peat moss, coconut core, whatever it's called over here, and then extra storage on the other side. Our towels are hiding over here, and then we have this handy little flip out mirror. <laughs> and that's about it in the bathroom. A typical question we get is how long did it take? How much did it cost? All that. It ended up taking probably about 18 months all in all while working multiple jobs and not living at the bus for part of it. And we actually did the entire build for just over $20,000. Again, Facebook Marketplace, <laughs> all sorts of auctions. We're not liars, I yeah. swear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, helps to have friends and family that have some skills and are willing to help too. Yeah, we uh, did pretty much all of the work ourselves with the exception of the spray foam insulation and the exterior paint job. Yeah. I think and those some, were the only some two. Some welding and some woodwork. Yeah, for the most but, part, those are the only things we outsourced and we did everything else ourselves, which really helped on the cost. Advice that we would give to anyone that's out there about to start a build. I'm gonna hop down actually and show you. You think little details like these cabinet doors are cute, but in reality, they just catch dirt. So I'm telling you now, just do one straight piece of wood and don't worry about the details, guys. They just get dirty. Or maybe paint them brown instead of white. I don't know. That's my biggest piece of advice. What do you think? Uh, if I had to change anything, I probably would have been a little pickier on the bus that we bought. It uh, had a less than desirable transmission. We had the AT545 and actually ended up swapping that out right before we left home for a 2000 series. And it's been good, but again, it would have been nice to avoid that cost. Yeah, we got a little caught up in the excitement and maybe bought the first bus that we came across. Yeah, when you find a bus for 2500 bucks and yeah. think it's a good deal, don't yeah. necessarily just jump on it. It ended up well, but the little details that you don't think about. Also, when you're planning your layout, I guess just it's hard to know before you actually live on the road. We... We don't have a lot of open space. We have tons of storage, which we thought we were gonna need. And now I think we have a little too much storage. I think the idea in the beginning of downsizing is just so overwhelming that we built storage into every possible nook and cranny. And now I'm wishing that we would have left it a little more open and downsized even further. We both work full-time on the road. Like I mentioned earlier, Ethan is a physical therapist, so we tend to travel to his jobs. We get two to three weeks of travel time in between those three month contracts that he has and then i recently started as a project designer for an outdoor solutions company so i create 3d renderings of people's houses and then i add the project that they're looking to get done so they can see what it's going to look like before it gets done which is fully remote i can do it from wherever whenever and we've really loved the setup that we have so far so again, I'm Ethan. And I am Kim. Thanks for watching our tour. We are Just Another Schoolie. You can find us on Instagram or at justanotherschoolie.com for a few more build details. And we do have a store with hopefully more to come, but for now it's just our stickers. Now we're starting. Is it on? We're good. Okay. I don't know what to say.
why can't I do this? Another, um, okay. An um, I can't say another. You can. Okay. Another. Nugget. Another, <laughs> another little nugget. <laughs> So again, I'm Ethan. And I am Kim. We are Just Another Schoolie. You can find us on Instagram. I forgot the part again. I'm sorry. Let's just, were we saving that for the end?